Hello everyone, an article in the Journal of the American Medical Association came out on February 9th, 2024 that asks the question, is Tai Chi more effective in reducing blood pressure for patients diagnosed with prehypertension compared to aerobic exercise? And I've received a lot of questions about it from my students. Any exercise is better for lowering your blood pressure than doing nothing, but I think practicing Tai Chi is much more effective at this for reasons I will talk about later. I have read the study and would like to provide you, my viewers, my summary of the research, the methods, and its findings so that you all have a better understanding of how Tai Chi has been shown to be statistically better for lowering blood pressure than regular aerobic exercise. Now onto the details of the research. The study was conducted between July 25th, 2019 and January 24th, 2022 at two hospitals in China. The study consisted of a total of 342 adults between the ages of 18 and 65, with an average age being 49.3 years old. All of the patients were diagnosed with prehypertension, which meant that each patient had a systolic blood pressure of 139 and or a diastolic blood pressure of 89. 166 were men and 176 were women. None of the patients were undergoing Western or traditional Chinese medical treatment for blood pressure management. The population was randomly divided into 173 participa participating in the Tai Chi program and 169 participating in the aerobic exercise program. I want to note, however, that 142 of the 173 patients actually completed the whole 12 months of the Tai Chi program and 141 of the 169 patients actually completed the full 12 months of the aerobic program. Both programs consisted of four 60-minute supervised sessions per week for 12 months. Each session was structured with a 10-minute warm-up, 40 minutes of the core exercises, Tai Chi or aerobic, and a 10-minute cool-down. One session each week was a group in-person practice at the hospital and three sessions each week were done at the patient's home online through uploaded follow-along videos. The Tai Chi program used the traditional 24 posture Yang style set to the left. The instructor modified the movements according to each patient's learning and athletic ability. The first nine weeks were spent teaching and practicing the form step by step. During this time, patients practiced and learned three to four postures each session. Timing of movement and breath was also taught and encouraged. This method follows almost exactly the way that I teach my in-person Tai Chi classes, interestingly enough. I teach two to four postures for four lessons per month, completing the whole 24 posture form in nine months. The aerobic program was structured similarly with four 60-minute sessions of moderate intensity, which they defined as 55 to 70% of estimated maximum heart rate exercises per week based on learning and athletic ability of the patients. During the first four weeks of training, patients were trained to reach heart rates of 55 to 65% of estimated maximum heart rate and were trained to reach 60 to 70% of that after four weeks. From the details of the research, most of the patients practiced brisk walking and or jogging for their aerobic activity, ramping up from low to medium intensity. Some of the more athletic patients progressed up to stair climbing and or cycling as the study went on. So what were their findings? In this randomized clinical trial of 342 patients diagnosed with prehypertension, the mean decrease in systolic blood pressure from baseline to month 12 was significantly greater in the Tai Chi group compared to the aerobic exercise group. At 12 months, the change in systolic blood pressure of the Tai Chi group, which had a mean decrease of 7.01, was 2.4 lower than the aerobic group, which had a mean decrease of 4.61, baseline to 12 months. I should note in this chart I made from the data that this metric was reported to be similar at six months with a difference of 2.31 based on in-office measurements of systolic blood pressure. To show how significant this is, I graph the results and you can see the significant difference across ambulatory blood pressure, 24 hours, just the daytime, and just the nighttime blood pressure measurements. 
I think this implies that the benefits of Tai Chi versus aerobic exercise seem to be better across all time, not just after 12 months. Although, this re although research could be done to look into this further. I want to also note that beyond this finding, the study found three interesting results, which I graphed for easier viewing. One, res or result one, the 24 hour and nighttime ambulatory SBP or systolic blood pressure of the Tai Chi group was significantly reduced, 2.16 and 4.08 respectively. Interesting result two, the nighttime ambulatory pulse rate of the Tai Chi group was significantly reduced, 2.25 beats per minute. And interesting result three, the 24 hour systemic blood pressure load of the Tai Chi group was significantly reduced, 6.13%. Systolic blood pressure load, which basically is a measure of how often one has an elevated blood pressure over one's average blood pressure over time, has been shown to be a good predictor of major cardiovascular events. So what is the takeaway from all of this? The finding of this study suggests that Tai Chi may help promote the prevention of cardiovascular disease in populations with prehypertension better than aerobic exercise, training times being equal. So this is where I offer my opinions about the results of this study. Let me say that this study continues to support the idea that any exercise and activity is better at lowering your blood pressure than doing nothing. However, I also think it supports my opinion that Tai Chi is a more effective activity because learning and practicing Tai Chi combines the physical benefits of exercise with the mental benefits of meditation. An article on meditation and mental health by Dr. Amy Kiefer lists among other things, enhanced self-awareness, greater patience and emotional flexibility, reduced levels of stress hormones and inflammatory chemicals, alleviation of depression and reduced anxiety as mental benefits of meditation. I believe that these mental benefits contribute to the other three interesting results because when you reduce mental stress through meditation, this carries over well after you finish the workout. This shows in the ambulatory and nighttime findings and the SBP load. This decrease in SBP load further reduces the risk of developing hypertension as well as other heart-related problems in the future. So the take-home message is the act of learning doing and eventually meditating with Tai Chi is better for your heart than your typical aerobic workout. You're welcome.